how you doing today? This is Eric Whiteside with the EW Tech Nerd, and I'm here with Mr. Thomas Clark with the Thomas Clark Group. How you doing today, Tom? Great, sir. Great. Doing well. Tom is sitting at the headquarters of the new Upstate Black Chamber of Commerce, and today um, I'm going to assist Tom in applying for the uh, legal Zoom uh, fast break for small business grant. This is a, a new grant that is in partnership with the MBA and Legal Zoom to assist small businesses. And so, first, we'll go ahead and play their uh, video so we can uh, see what their intentions of how they want to assist small businesses. On the court and in business, it takes a dream hard work, commitment, and sometimes a little help from the outside. There we go. After more than 19 years in the NBA, I experienced all the highs and the lows of the game. The one constant through it all, team. For small business owners working hard and grinding every day to make it, they need the help and support of teammates to be successful as well. For them, there's a new team in town that I'm incredibly proud to be a part of. LegalZoom, the NBA, WNBA, and NBA G League are teaming up to launch Fast Break for Small Business, a program to help grow and sustain small businesses across the U.S. Before the pandemic, Black or Hispanic-owned small businesses were twice as likely to be considered at risk by banks compared to non-minority-owned businesses. Women are 33% of business owners with employees and count for only 4% of all small business loans from traditional banks. As the NBA, WNBA, and NBA G League's first partnership with an online business formation services company, LegalZoom is committing $6 million in the form of $10,000 small business grants and LegalZoom services to qualifying small businesses. Visit LegalZoom.com for additional information on Fast Break for Small Business. It's a, a partnership between the NBA and, and LegalZoom. I think it's a great opportunity for small businesses, new businesses. A great thing I believe they're doing. Definitely. Now let's see what it means uh, to qualify. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at their application. Unless we want to get into an application process and and how this application process works. So basically, just like you were saying before, that LegalZoom is going to be providing ten thousand dollars grant and five hundred dollars in LegalZoom services to fifty small businesses. So that means that uh, these applications we need to get in because it's going to be only 50 businesses selected. Grantees and legal zoom recipients will be notified and issued a grant. Let's see, ready to apply. Let's see what we need to apply, Tom. So we need to be based in the United States. Uh, we need must have been in business for at least six months and must have annual revenue of less than one million. I think that qualifies for all of us entrepreneurs, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely believe so. <laughs> exactly. I think that's all of us right there. Um, must be uh, in one of these, must not be in one of these prohibited industries. So let's look at the industries that are prohibited under this program. So if you're doing any adult entertainment, script clubs, you can't get that. <laughs> uh, tobacco, firearms, marijuana, massage parlors. Uh, gambling and betting, real estate investment con uh, firms, residential, commercial, house flippers, hotel businesses, uh, banking and financial, merchant companies, lending businesses, small business loan brokers, uh, check cash and bail bonds, pawn shop, collection companies and lawyers and debt. Consolidation firm, multi-level marketing firms, nonprofit organizations, religious organizations, churches, temples, uh, activities of so political organization, transportation, oil, transportation of hazardous material, oil and gas, and any ride share. So if you're an Uber or Lyft driver, uh, you wouldn't qualify for this um, 
is granted. Uh, they say here, I say you must be a, a U.S. citizen, a legal resident. If you have uh, multiple business, they ask, can I apply multiple times? No, each individual business document only apply once and eligible to see one grant. Can you make any changes after the application is submitted? No, so you better you gotta make sure that you got all your information correct when you're doing the application. And uh, let's see here, we received confirmation yet yeah. Let's see how will grant needs to be selected from a random process will uh will be vetted and verified by the acorn opportunity fund that should you meet criteria and you'll hear your status in january 2022 and then how will the grant money be dispersed grant money will be transferred from the acorn uh, opportunity fund to the grantees verified business bank account now what are the funds to be used for if they are used for any legitimate business purpose. When you think about that, Tom, any questions you think from that information? Uh, uh, not at all. I think it's self-explanatory and it's uh, uh, open to uh, be able to use for any aspect of your business. Uh, just a great thing. Mm. So, what we're going to do, um, it says, it what can I submit any additional questions as a form for the, if you need to submit any questions right here on the website. I'm also post links to this website on uh, the uh, upstatebcc.org site. And I also put that, post that in the Facebook post and of our social media channels so that you can uh, get to this information. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and Tom's going to share his screen and he's going to, we're going to start this process and hopefully, uh, we can get an application in. They ask the first question. What are they asking you? Is your business currently operating? Yes or no? Yes. What was your annual business revenue in 2020? Okay, Let's... Tom. So you so... look at your tax returns that you already filed and put that gross amount there, Tom. Well, they're not asking for the amount. They're asking what. They're giving a, a oh, they're giving a select. A choice. Okay, so, yeah, so go ahead and select Le now. less than twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, have your business have Have you been in business for at least six months since uh, April twenty twenty? Yes. Is your business one of the in in one of the industries by this program prohibited by this program? No. No. <clears throat> uh, com please complete this application. Name Thomas Clark. Email. Should I use my business email or my Thomas L. Clark 6? No. You use your business email. Okay. I thought so, so. Why is that important? Let's talk about that. So, when you're applying for these business grants or any business application, if I see that you have a business email address, that's going to further validate that you have a uh, operating business. A lot of business owners don't uh, understand the importance of having your domain of your website as that business address. So that's that's very critical because it's a part of the verification process. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Business website. Okay, um, which of the following best represents your gender identity? Okay, uh, well, man. No, it's, it's, which of the first one before that is which of the following best represents, yeah, oh, your gender identity. That's right. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but it's so funny it's how. Selection. Yeah, they, they're even recognizing transgender male and transgender female. I don't believe that. Wow. 
Okay, anyway. so Tom, just uh, I would um, uh, select that I don't wish to provide that information. Prefer it's up not to you if you want to provide that information. Prefer not to answer. Is that the one or different? Idea? Yeah. Yeah. Prefer yeah. not to answer. Okay, gotcha. Uh, what is your sexual orientation? Asexual, bisexual, gay, heterosexual, lesbian, presexual, queer. <laughs> prefer not to answer. I think that's another prefer not to answer. You agree? Yeah, I agree. What is your sexual, what is, which of the following best represents your, why they keep asking me the same thing? I just answered that. Prefer not to answer. Okay. Which of the following best represents your racial identity? Uh, black or African American? Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, business industry. Okay, here's the one. Let's see. Uh, bookkeeping, apparel, automotive, automotive sales, child construction, delivery, direct sales, dry cleaners, electronic, fiscal services, flea market, flowers, food catering, food mobile, food restaurant, gas, groceries, hair salon, uh, janitor, landscaper. I think there you go. Uh, business do uh, biz, uh, business doing business as um, uh, Thomas Clark Group LLC. The name of your company. Okay, Thomas Clark Group LLC. Uh, business website. Okay. Tom at Thomas Clark Group Thomas Clark Group. What is LLC or is it no LLC? I don't remember. Yeah, LLC. You're correct. That's LLC. correct. Dot com. Uh, social media page. Um, okay, so um, you need to, let me give it to you. Um, you need to paste your link to your Facebook page that you have for Thomas Clark Group. Now, so, uh, so what I'm, I put Facebook? Yeah, let me give you your URL for that. Let me see here. Let's find your Facebook URL. Okay, let's see Thomas Clark. There we go. I got you. So you're, let me give it to you. It's going to be, uh, okay, good. So it's going to be facebook.com slash facebook.com slash slash, uh, Thomas, uh, -huh. uh, dash, uh, -huh. Clark, uh, -huh. dash. Dash again? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, dash. Uh-huh. Uh, one, one, three, zero, zero, six, eight, zero, three, six, seven, three, two, four, four. Wow. Okay, yeah. that that was let me just recite that. That was one one three mm -hmm. zero 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 six mm -hmm. 
Secretary of State, you always want to provide correct information for verification. So we'll go into Secretary of State. I'm going to do this for you on this end. Okay. And I'll give you your incorporation date in one second. Uh, uh, zero five twenty two twenty two two thousand and eight. Oh, so they're giving you uh, okay, so you'll say May of two thousand and eighteen. I'm sorry, eighteen. Yeah, I, to I told you it was May, I, I knew mm -hmm. it was May, I just couldn't, I didn't know exactly what year. So it's May, okay, let me put this in here, May of eighteen. Okay. Uh, hey, how come it didn't go in? Let me try that again. May of 18. Um, huh. uh, okay, now hit your enter button. Huh, there you go. Good. There it is. So now you go, uh, what was it? May 18. With 18, click on the date 18th on that calendar. Uh, See the date 18, scroll down. See those dates? They got all 30 dates. Click on that date. There you go. Click oh, on. okay. There you okay. Go. Uh, are you located in any of the following? MBA, WMBA, MBA, AG, Lead, Metro Area. No the applications are not required to be located in one of these metro areas in order to be eligible for the program. So what do I put? No. No, no. But you're close, it's, but it's no. Just put it no. Okay, it's, see. It right there. Click on it. Um, not letting me put no. Uh, Scroll down. Scroll down. My business is not located. Okay, right there. Yeah. Uh, business city. Put Spartanburg. Uh, business state, South Carolina. Business zip code 2-9. 306. 306. Uh, how many employees does your business have? Uh, I'll put one, between one and five. Mm -hmm. uh, how did your, how do you legally register your business? On my, okay. own, on my own with the help of an online legal service company with the help of a professional. With the uh, help of a professional. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Did you seek the help of a tax professional or did a tax service in your first year of business? Yes. Yes. Because okay, I couldn't have did it my own self. <laughs> how many, how long has, was your business in operation before you uh, officially was officially formed. How long was your business in operation 
before you. Hmm. Um, just a few. Uh, you were you was doing the little mobile detail and landscaping for about the, uh, a couple of years before you actually set up the company. Right. So more than twenty four months. Yes. Okay. Please provide a brief description of your business and how your business serves. Hmm. Okay. So you you put in there that your business provides uh land uh residential and commercial landscaping services. Okay, provides uh local and um industrial landscaping services uh provide local and industrial landscaping services period uh, uh, and, yes, and then and services uh and then go ahead period in addition uh our company provides um uh, um discounted and sometimes free services hey for, the lights run off lights come back on oh shoot <laughs> Don't worry. In addition, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, in addition, uh, uh, we provide discounted and uh, donated services for for elderly residents, landscaping services for elderly residents. Uh, in addition, we provide. Um, shoot, I'm not good at dictating. In addition, we provide landscaping and what services? Uh, land, uh, discounted landscape, discounted oh, okay. and free landscaping services for okay. elderly uh, residents. Discount, discounting. Spelling ain't what for nothing. Don't worry about it. It's gonna help you right there. Landscaping services for the elderly. <clears throat> Okay. On the board and in business, it takes some training. Okay, tell us what inspired you to start your business. Mm. Uh, your desire to provide affordable landscaping services um, for um, low income communities. Oh shoot! I can't spell. Um, Low income. What are you trying to say? No, um, no. Uh, the desire to uh, provide. provide um, affordable landscaping. Ah, come on. Man, 
services for low income mm -hmm. communities is that Okay. <clears throat> um, if selected, how would you in, how would you intend to use the grant funds? <clears throat> uh, uh, if selected, uh, we want to uh, 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 acquire some additional landscaping uh, equipment. And landscaping equipment and hire one more part time um, employee. Acquire. Gosh, how do you spell acquire? If we're selected. Uh, uh, purchase. It's put purchase. Uh, purchase. Shit. Okay. Are you um um are you interested in receiving a promo code for legal zoom services? Yes. Okay. Your answers to the additional questions will be shared with legal zoom who will use this information for internal business purposes. That are consistent, constant with its privacy uh, policy. Can LegalZoom also use this information to contact you with special offers? Additionally, we can share your name and contact information with the NBA if you agree. The NBA and its business partners may use the information to send your promotional materials as well as for other uh, legitimate business purposes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Uh, please upload the required documents to verify your business. More note that all six documents must be uploaded to complete your application. You may upload multiple files, but each file must not exceed 20. Uh, um, uh, MBs. Most recent. Okay. So now, now I need the most recent business tax return. Okay. A copy mm -hmm. of your business license or sole mm -hmm. proprietor information document. A front and back copy of your business owner owner's government issued identification. Application identification includes driver's license, federal government ID, passport, permanent resident card, alien card, and so on. Mm -hmm. all, all pages must 
the recent uh, all pages of the most recent bank business bank statement. A complete W-9 form for the business bank account preferred above. Now, when they say the business bank account, that's the same thing as the uh, No, all yeah. you need is a, uh, bank, uh, the bank statement. First, yeah. you get the your tax returns from last year, and it should be, and this is why it's so good for you to have this information under your team in Ring Central, so that now you can just click download, upload. Now, we need to check and see, I'm going to pause the video while we try to identify where, the, you got to identify where those documents are. Look at your team and see which were all of these documents are there. That W-9 you did the other day, that's supposed to go. See, when you get these documents, you scan them, you got to put them in Ring Central. So when you do this, you have them in one place. All right. So uh, that concludes our uh, grant. Uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good grant for small businesses. And I think we can get all of our members uh, getting the application in and hope they uh, understand the importance of keeping these documents right. handy so we get these applications in and out. And again, this is EW, EW Tech Nerds on UBC TV.